BillCountry.com. WBYL Saladaysburg. WBLJ Shimoka. A service of Clear Channel Worldwide. Hi, this is Ted Bennett and of the Bill Breakfast Show. With me, Craig Rupp and Don Francis. And uh, all month long, we're going to be going and doing some paranormal investigations. Gentlemen, today we're going to the cell block, a place that was originally built in 1799, completed in 1802, fell down, was burnt down in 1867 and rebuilt. What kind of excitement do you have about this investigation today? A, prelimi- a pre- preliminary investigation, Craig. Oh, we're, we've been waiting a long time for this. You know, the dead will speak. I'm sure there's a lot of uh, motion inside there, so. Your thoughts, Don? The older, the better. <laughs> we'll find out. We're going to the cell block right now. I always want to look at the cells and stuff like that, too. Uh, and then, you like the cells right here. Yeah, like all these, you can see the, more of the original cells when we go upstairs, you'll see them as you go back. Like around each one is the original cell more. And then the band room outside, which is all the way straight down. check that out. All right. so. These jail cells were built in 1867. How many people do you think stayed in this cell? We're in the cell block with Craig Rupp. Craig, tell us about the place we're in right now. What have you heard about this particular part of the cell block? In this section, uh, we heard the glasses fly off the bar. So we're going to check that out. Go ahead, Craig. Tell us about what the meter you have here. What's it called? Uh, EMF meter. And what you're looking for is anywhere from 2.0 to 8.0. Okay. That's something that usually can't be explained. Um, that's what you want to check out for wiring. Um, and what have you gotten so far? What kind of readings? Over here in this area, I've gotten anywhere from 2 to 3. Perfect. So. Let's Stop. take a I'm walk gonna, over I'm there. Check over here. There may be wiring under the floor, but the higher I go, with, with all the obvious wiring, it diminishes. So. Okay, we'll walk over here and check the meter. Got a point straight over here in this area. Six, one point eight. See the higher up. The only thing I would explain is there's something in the floor now. One point eight, point three, two point three. Tell us your name. Do you remember the fire that was here? We're inside the cell block. How many folks met their fate here on the hangman's noose over the years? spot. An uncomfortable feeling in your stomach? Yeah, right here. Yeah, me too. First time I felt anything today. Well, my name's Don. Right now I'm sensing a real uneasy feeling in my stomach.
Is there something here? I'm sensing your presence. Can you tell us your name? All right, Craig, what do we have here? This is a DR60. We're going to use it for EVP. This is uh, an older model, mm -hmm. but, it, but it picks up quite a bit more than a regular recorder. Uh, there was a flaw, actually, and Panasonic had a lot of returns from college students and stuff. So um, they were they were actually picking up other voices while taking notes at lectures and things. And unfortunately Panasonic does not make these anymore. But we're gonna try to go ahead and do an EVP session. It's on voice activated. And when you see the numbers move that means something is is talking that we can't hear physically. Um, but there is a lot of white noise in here, and these things tend to be very sensitive. Very sensitive. So we'll see what we get. But Don earlier got sick here, so we'll, we'll, we'll try it out. We're in the basement of the cell block, which is a very desolate, very depressing place. Prisoners would stay in these cells underneath the jail. Can you imagine in the summertime with oppressive heat and temperature, the prisoners were stacked up in here, filling out their sentence. All you were here from here was this number. You were 12T. WBYL Saladaysburg WBLJ Shimoka A service of Clear Channel Worldwide